Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Unify controller on Proxmox. This makes it where you can manage your Unify network uh, from uh, this network controller, ma manage your wireless network, everything like that, and, and your switches. Uh, so a little bit about this series is uh, I'm going over starting from home from scratch. So I'm going to go over installing everything to get into home automations and making everything work. So if you, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And Let's get started. So this is what the Unify network controller looks like when it's running, devices, clients, and uh, you won't get e everything because it is self-hosted. So uh, you, you get more when you actually have a Unify device running it, like a UDM or something. but. This makes it to where you can manage your network, your switches, everything like that. So, so we're going to start out on the Proxmox helper scripts that I'll be using. Um, I'll, I'll put a link down in the description so you can follow along. So you're going to go up to the search and you're going to go to Unify. You see it right here. We can copy it. But first, let's check on what it's actually doing. So I'm going to open up GitHub. Okay, now I'm going to go to the install right here. I'm going to go up to go, go to file, and I'm going to go to the install. And this is what it will be doing in the install. It'll be installing curl, sudo, mc. It'll be installing transport HTTPS. It'll be installing the, uh, the, uh, the Debian operating system, Bullseye. <clears throat> It'll update the apt get. Then, uh, then it will install Java, uh, JDK, uh, the headless version. Then it'll uh, it'll say installed the Open JDK. It'll install MongoDB to uh, have the data in there. Say installed. Then it'll install the Unify Network application right here. It'll get it from uh, download.ui.com, so it's getting it from the real repository. Uh, and then it's downloading it in the Debian, and then it's putting it in source list, and then you're gonna go to the apt uh, git update, and then it's gonna be able to be installed with apt git since you did put it in the source list right here. So it's gonna say it's installed, then it's gonna set up SSH, cu uh, customize it, and then it's gonna clean up right here. It's gonna clean, clean up the, uh, the deb files, on the MongoDB and the lib SSL, then it's gonna auto remove, cl clean up, and then it's got auto clean on the app git. So that's what that's doing. And then we can go over to the CT and it's setting default settings. It's updating the script. Uh, so so uh, you can also go into your VM and you can put this exact same uh, script in there and then it'll update it for you and you don't have to um, to do any manual work. And then it'll say compl compl completed successfully, so it's done. So now we're going to copy this script now that you know it'll be running. And um, this application will be uh, on IP and then 8443. So whatever your IP is and 8443. So it's going to have some default settings of two, two gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of storage and two VC uh, CPUs. So um, we're going to copy this and then I'm going to go over to my Proxmox panel. Then you're going to go into your node right here, then your shell, and then we're going to paste in what we just uh, copied over there. Then we're going to press return or enter. And it's going to say uh, th this will create a new a Unify LXC. So we're going to say yes. You're currently running. So it's, it's just a little prompt. Okay, now use default settings. So yes. So it's starting over here. You can see it.
install the dependencies. It's doing everything that you saw in that install um, a fi file. So now it's installing the uh, Java, the JDK. It's installing MongoDB. It's installing the Unified Network application now. Now you can uh, do this manually um, without having the script and you can either use the scripts uh, steps or you can just use the script and make it a little bit easier and save time. It's allocated the IP, so I'll copy that. It'll take a bit to install the Unified Network application, so. Now it's customized container, cleaned up. Okay, now it's giving us a URL right here. So we're gonna go over to 8443. And then if you get this, it just means that you need to be using HTTPS. So you're gonna go over here, you're gonna change the HTTP to HTTPS, then you're gonna do an advanced, proceed. Then there you go, you're on your name, a uh, network application. So now once you start uh, on this screen, so now we're gonna set up the Unified Network and get it all set up. So you can name it the Unified Network any type you want, thing you want. So I'm gonna uh, set the term of use right here. If you're moving this over, uh, you can actually back it up, back the old one up and then move it here and then restore from backup right here. You can go down here to press next. And then now I'm gonna turn off the enable remote access. I'm gonna turn it off. Then I'm gonna turn off the ubiquity account for local access. And then I'm gonna put in my username. I'm gonna put in my password. I'm gonna put in my email address. And then I'm going to go down here to the next button. And then you can enable auto backup. So I'm gonna go down here. There's no devices seen. So right now I'm gonna say next. You can set up your Wi-Fi network, and this is where you do the first one. So you can uh, name it a Wi-Fi name, your SSID. Then you can put your Wi-Fi password in, and then you can uh, decide to combine the 2.4 uh, or 5 together or leave it separate. I'm going to say skip for now. Uh, it has your country and your time zone, so I'm going to say finish. And then this will start it up and get it running. Uh, if you did install it like I did with your local account, I'm going to show you how you set up a, uh, a remote user. So without this, you can't access it from uh, unify.ui. So I'm going to go to sys uh, settings and then system. And then you will go down to administration and then you'll re uh, enable remote access. You, uh, you'll say allow and then you'll sign in with your ubiquity account a username and password and then you can also register here so and then um it shows your local account right here uh you also can uh, can sync your local admin with your ubiquity single sign-on that means that it's syncing and makes it to where you can sign on with the remote access email and password so Local administrators have full access to Unify OS console, which can be useful in the event of internet outage. Use the Ubiquity single sign-on credentials to log in as a local administrator. So there you go. And then now you can see your updates down here. You can check for updates and tell me what. It's got no updates. And then you can turn on early access. Then you have backups down here. And then you can uh, reschedule the backups for daily, weekly, monthly, and then on a certain uh, date, time, maximum number of files. You can set up the backup retention, 7 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 days, 30, 60, 365 days, and no limit. So you can go down here to your support. So if you do talk to Ubiquity on support chat, they will normally want the network support file. In the end, um, you'll have interface to where you can ch change the legacy if you want to. Uh, 
you, you can override the inform host and that means that your IP address of where the actual devices are connecting to and then you can uh, change your SSH authentication so when a device connects to this Unify network application it will uh, set the SSH authentication right here you can set up SSH keys as well so that's how to get Unify network application on Proxmox so I just showed you step by step on how to get Unify network application working on Proxmox this makes it to where you can manage all your network app, uh, uh, devices like your APs, your switches, anything like that. And then you can manage your Wi-Fi network as well. So, um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like. And if you need any support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and uh, ask questions, suggest videos, or anything like that. So, stay tuned for more.